Extreme demons are getting darker and darker to the point that one day they're going to be completely invisible. Well, Woolsey, I absolutely couldn't agree more. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Legit Level Review. At the end of the last episode, which you should definitely watch if you haven't already, I said that I was ready to hurt some feelings for the next review, and in this video, I plan on doing just that, by reviewing The Golden by Bo and Moore. I just wanna let you know, you're a stupid fucking cunt, go ahead and run your mouth, pussy, I don't give a fuck, you're a stupid... So, in case you don't know, the Golden is the community's new favorite top 1 extreme demon that absolutely everyone is hyped over. I haven't seen this much hype since Belle Delphine announced that she was going to start a Pornhub account. Shame we got baited on that, isn't it? Oh yeah, speaking of baited, the level isn't top 1 anymore, and uh, there goes half of the Golden's fanbase. Of course, seeing an extreme demon get nerfed is a fucking tragedy. The amount of pain the average 10 year old feels when seeing a spike get moved down just one little click is comparable to biting into the center of a hot pocket that just came out of the goddamn microwave. Now that we've all grabbed our torches and pitchforks, let's all make sure to blame Enswish for even considering giving in to the creator's demands. How dare Bo be allowed to do what he wants with his own level? Now, as both a creator and a player, I'm on the side of both Bo and Enswish in their decision to nerf the level, but I really think this highlights how much people only care about the difficulty of all these new top 10 extremes. I mean, when they all look like this, I guess there's not too much more to care about aside from the difficulty, but to be fair to the Golden, at least it's a long length demon with passable decoration. Anyways, with that little introduction out of the way, just like in the last episode, I'm going to be judging both the level's gameplay and decoration. Well, I'm sure you'd all love to hear me drone on about my factual statements surrounding this level's gameplay, I can already see some of you pointing out that I'm not exactly qualified to give my opinions for it, so instead I'll let my buddy Loa break down the gameplay for you. Thank you Mr. Yakub for inviting me on your show here today, and hello everybody from the Yakub Nugget YouTube channel. Today I, Mr. Lolwat from the youtube.com slash lolwat YouTube channel, will be giving my opinions on Enswish's ruination of the Golden by Bowen Electra. So a few days ago I was streaming on Twitch over at uh, twitch.tv slash lolwat7, and someone asked me what I thought of the Golden. My initial thoughts on the Golden were very strong, and I believed it had come to be one of, if not the best upcoming extreme in terms of playability and gameplay. The level went through several verifiers, Bo, Skyjax, Bo again, Dolphy, Bo again, and Enswish, and if Enswish were to drop it, the level would have went to me. Unfortunately, I didn't get my hands on a copy to verify for myself, but I've had several versions of the level, and I can tell you firsthand, along with everybody else who's played them, that Enswish's version of the Golden is the worst version that exists of the level. The main problem I have with Enswish is isn't particular that he nerfed it and that it's easier, but that he nerfed all the parts that had literally no reason to be nerfed. What I've noticed from his verifications is that he does this thing called impulse nerfing. Prime examples of this uh, include the dual wave at approximately 60%, and what's funny about this is he truly believes that his version is the hardest and best version of the level, because he buffed the ships and nerfed almost everything else besides a few wave clicks. Additionally, he added speed portals to uh, quote, fix sync in the level, which only ended up fixing two ball clicks at 13% and unsyncing the rest of the level. I talked to Bo about this for a little bit and he said that he gave absolutely no permission to change the gameplay via speed or any other means besides nerfing or buffing. Bo and Electro don't even like the version that's uploaded to the servers. The level was meant to be as fun as possible while still being incredibly difficult. But now that Enswish has essentially buffed the fun out of half of it, and changed the fun out of the other, it's not the same and I personally, along with quite a few of its playtesters, find it to be far worse than any other version of the level in terms of playability. I'm gonna pass this back to Jakob here, sorry if this came off a little strong, I've been looking forward to this level for months only to be disappointed by it. Have a good day everybody. Thank you for that, Mr. Lola. With this testimony out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and give the gameplay a 4 out of 10. Now, I can already hear your annoying ass crying down in the comments, but this level's gameplay was made with the intention of only ever having a few top players being able to beat it, so it makes perfect sense to lower a score for something that's not only not accessible to the general community, but also to some of the top extreme demon grinders. Now that that's out of the way, I can start tearing into the decoration. 
Starting off with the beginning, this part actually stands out to be above most others in the level. It's a solid introduction that cements the feeling the level is trying to give off from the very start. I'm also a creator that likes my ground so I like my women, with tight and enclosed spaces. The ground here fulfills that requirement perfectly, but it would be nice if the rest of this section was held up to that standard. One look at the blocks here shows that the creator put in a solid 3-5 to five minutes into creating a messy and poorly layered block design and then said fuck it and copy pasted it in every little area they could. The orbs are also basically impossible to see. If you're going to make them that dark, you might as well just make them invisible so you have more room for actual air decoration, and no, these shitty airs do not count. I swear, the second part of this level is just trying to eat you whole. Look at how close the ground comes to you. I know I was just talking about how much I love tight crevices, but this level is really underestimating the size of my fully erect penis. It doesn't help that there are now awkward black pillars everywhere that serve as nothing but a visual annoyance for the player. They're placed almost at random and break up the block design that this part was trying to show off. When the background pulses here, you get a decent look at what this part actually has to offer, and it looks okay, but unfortunately the majority of this level is blacker than Aunt Jemima's butthole, so these few frames we had with the pulse is pretty much the best look you're going to get of the whole part. Speaking of black, it's everywhere in this level, and when it's not black, it's green. If you haven't noticed yet, this level is named the Golden and not the Emerald, so 5 points off from Slytherin for not even getting the goddamn color right, but at least now we have ourselves some solid design. These blocks are genuinely good. The decoration is clean, eye-catching, and not completely copy-pasted unlike the first part. However, if your brightness isn't at 100%, you might have noticed that the ground and air deco here have vanished into thin air. Trust me, it's there, but god help anyone who doesn't have 20-20 vision, cause you can't see shit here. This next piece serves mostly as a transition into the drop. I feel like it was made by two different creators since the decoration goes a completely different route halfway through, which confuses me since this is already one of the shortest parts in the entire level. Could you really not stick with one style for like 5 seconds? Also, similarly to the last part, these blocks here are actually really cool, but it's too bad that your vision is going to instantly go to the massive fucking locust cloud that is now eating the right hand side of your screen. Also, these black lines make literally no sense. It's not even like there's anything tech related here at all. The creator just put these here because he felt like it, and now it's my job to tell him that he fucked up because nobody wanted to bust his balls that badly. Oh well, the title screen here is pretty solid. Simple and to the point, and unlike the rest of the level, you can actually see it clearly. So, bonus points there for not making me break out the night vision goggles again. At the drop, we can finally find a creator who could build for more than 5 seconds without burning out. Let me get my biggest compliment for this part out of the way, which is the structuring. There's something really satisfying about the way the ground terraforms with the blocks and how the wave traverses between everything. Also, this hole here is sexy as fuck, why is there only one? Creators, please add more holes to your ground. There's more dumb pillars in this part, but they're much more spread out than before, so it feels more like theming as opposed to pointless object spam. However, excluding what I said about the structuring, I feel like the rest of this part is bland and boring. It only has one major color shift throughout the entire section, and these wimpy pulses don't count. I could slap my ash cheeks together and get a better pulse than that. Next we enter what I consider to be one of the more interesting sections in the level, since the creator here finally decided that it's okay to hew their colors. I'm not saying that their color combos always work, but I gotta give them credit for trying. This part is weird since it has a high concentration of decoration in one area, and then a black block with two squares in it half a second later. I feel like this creator almost put a lot of effort into this part, and then took a look at some of the other parts getting finished around them and realized they didn't have to. Still, I respect what the person here was going for, but homie tried to cram way too much stuff into this part, with some of it being random empty black blocks and some of it being over-decorated pillars. It just doesn't work out well. Well, shit boys, the pillars can move now. We tried our hardest, but they were just too strong. This part takes the worst bit of every part in the level and chucks it into one massive shit stain of a part. The condensed black pillars, the crammed in random air decoration, the copy pasted blocks that are just a black base with three objects added on top so it's not a layout, this part really has it all. On top of that, the game mode is a robot and even though I'm supposed to be talking about the decoration, we all know making a balloon animal out of your ball sack is preferable to robot gameplay. Well, that about wraps this up. Pretty mad decoration overall, but wait, what's this? I can't believe it. It's a part that has great colors, visible gameplay design, well layered decoration, and an insane atmosphere. Well boys, we found the gold and the golden, although I do mean that figuratively as the part is still fucking green. 
Oh well, I don't have too much to complain about. I said the previous part took the worst things about each section and jammed them together, but this one did a 180 and put all the good things about this level into a banger ending. Props to whoever made the ending for this, because for a second I thought my decoration score was going to go below a 5. With the way I score things in this series, a 5 is the average. Unlike most grading systems, a 5 out of 10 doesn't mean you just failed your grade 9, but instead means you're right on the average. With that being said, I'm giving this level a 5.5 out of 10. That's pretty low for what I feel like this level could have been, especially with some of the names behind it, but at least there's a consistent atmosphere throughout the whole level, and most of the parts fit fairly well together. It would have been nice if I could have seen more than half the decoration at any given part, but if too much black overlay had been removed, then it probably would have been considered a nerf, and god help the 10 year olds if they found out their precious top 3 demon got nerfed down to top 5. Oh yeah, I uh, almost forgot. This level has an end screen. Best part of the level there is, easily. There is no competition. Overall, that leaves this level with a 4.75 out of 10, putting it just below average, which is where I think it should be. A lot of people are riding this level's dick because of its difficulty, and I think that made a larger portion of the community think this level was better than it actually is. I know at the time I'm making this, it's still pretty taboo to talk any amount of shit on this level, but I think a year from now, once the hype has died down, people will look back and agree with a lot of the points made in this video. Anyways, that's it for now. Unlike last week, there's not going to be a vote for which review I do next, as I already have the next one planned out. I'll let you guys vote for which level every other review, so it's constantly switching between my choice and yours. That's all for this one gamers. Peace.